We have four days to take this bus and give it a full remodel for our client Mitch. Mitch drove all the way from Alabama down to Fort Lauderdale to have us give this bus a facelift. So after having a long conversation with Mitch on his wants and needs, Hope and I came up with a plan that will work for him to give him more storage and allow him to live a mo much more comfortable life in this small space. After coming up with a plan and design that we wanted to do, we got right to work and ripping out the old bench and fridge area. Mitch reached out because he needed his bus to have more storage and he just wanted to be a little more organized and we took on the job because we thought it would be a little easier than what it was, but when we got the bus into our possession, I mean, this thing was bad. Mitch's bus was disgusting. We had fleas jumping all over us. We found rat poop, dead cockroaches, rat mouse, mouse traps even. It was really bad. Once everything was ripped out of the bus, we started to build a cabinet that's gonna hold the fridge, have a drawer, a closet area, and hold a microwave. After cutting out the pieces of 3 quarter inch plywood, we added edge band to all the edges of the plywood to give it a nice finished look. And once we had all of our pieces cut out, we drilled holes with our pocket hole jig to be able to put the whole cabinet together. Ripping all the old stuff out of the bus took about 4 hours and building this cabinet took about 5 hours so Hope and I worked till about 10 p.m. Alright guys so it's day number 2. I'm about to head over to the warehouse to continue to work on the bus. I got myself some coffee so let's go! So today I had to cut out the face for the cabinet we made yesterday and build the bottom drawer. So that's what I started to do. I cut it out and I added edge band veneer to the, all the edges, like I said, to make things really nice. I then started to assemble the drawer for the cabinet, but first I had to cut some grooves into it. Mitch only had a $5,000 budget to complete this job and he only gave us four days to do it. So it was just nonstop stress to try to get the job done as quickly as possible and make it as high quality as possible. Once I finished making the drawer, I installed some soft closing drawer slides, then I added some electrical outlets. Then it was back to drilling some pocket holes because we're building him a bench that will be able to sleep an extra person and hold a lot more storage. And while I did that, Hope kept herself busy by cleaning and painting the cabinets. Mitch is planning on living in his bus full time, so he needs a way to plug into shore power. So I went ahead and got him a proper shore power connection, a breaker box, breakers, and I ran some new outlets to his walls so he can be properly pr uh, plugged in the safe way um, because before he was just plugged into a bunch of extension cords.
this ended up being another really long day and we actually ended up working till about one o'clock in the morning. So it was just time to go home. So since we only had four days to give this bus a facelift, we had to order a urine diverting toilet, but they were all on back order. So I reached out to a couple friends of mine and had them 3D print one. Alright guys, so it's officially been four days since we started the remodel on this bus and Mitch is on his way, so we're doing the final touches. Come and see. Alright guys, so it was clear that Mitch had a serious storage problem before. His fridge used to be on the ground, so we lifted it up and we gave him a ton of other storage. We put a drawer right underneath the fridge and then we added a actual closet um, for him to be able to hang some clothes and we added this nice zombie sign that he had in here I feel like it might be uh, Something that he really liked so we went ahead and incorporated it and then we also added this nice big bench Which a like five foot eleven uh, person can sleep on here And it also has storage underneath and we were actually up to like one o'clock in the morning last night Sewing these cushions on this side. We cut the countertop and We made this so he can use the bathroom because he didn't have a toilet in here before. This is a urine diverting toilet and we actually got this thing 3D printed. Um, so we did that. So Mitz just pulled up, he's finally here and it's time to show him the final reveal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look. Oh my God. Where's my bus? Holy cow, oh wow. This is incredible, y'all. I love it. This is gonna be so much better to live on. I couldn't be happier. This is this is amazing. It looks great. The cabinets, the bench, the toilet right here, hidden perfectly. Everything, all my power hooked up beautiful. Lots more storage. It's really nice. It's really, really nice.